And also this evening, state transportation officials revealing today that they think they know what caused the I-43 Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay to sag. Answers coming today a little more than a week after a bridge pier sank. Now take a look at a representation of Pier 22. Basically, it sank unevenly roughly two feet. The issue is just below what's called the concrete footing. About eight feet under, the bottom of that is where the piling buckled. After digging holes to look at the piling, investigators say they found that it basically had corroded. So why did it corrode, and are there other piers in danger of this same problem? Fox 11's Laura Smith joins us live from near the bridge with the answers. Yes, Michelle, the DOT says at least three other piers have showed signs of corrosion. Now crews are working to determine what's causing the corrosion. Workers on the bridge's east end bored holes into the ground to get soil samples. They've also dug trenches at piers 10 through 25 to inspect pilings and footings. The investigation and subsequent repair of the bridge is a massive effort. But we have the right team assembled and we will get the job done. The DOT said in a news conference the bridge deck and Pier 22 appear to be in good shape. However, the inspection has found pilings for that pier had buckled, apparently due to corrosion. Our preliminary uh, factors to the corrosion is really that fill material that's been in place prior to the construction and a combination of water, uh, groundwater interacting with that soil, corroding on the piles. The investigation has found that the vast majority of the other piers being checked are still in the same condition as they were when they were installed more than three decades ago. However, it's been discovered that some piers are suspect. Adjacent piers, uh, Pier 21, Pier 23, and Pier 25, we did see corrosion on our test pits. Not to the severity, obviously, that caused failure, but you could see corrosion. Uh, and I want to reiterate, this does not indicate that the rest of the bridge is in danger of collapse. DOT officials say the fill material found in samples from the 70s show foundry sand and organic material. That fill is unique to the east side of the bridge. The new soil samples are being compared to older ones. To confirm that what the soil borings were done in 1974 is what we're encountering today, that there wasn't land use changes um, under those piers that would cause uh, concerns for corrosion further on the Legal Frigo Bridge. The DOT says it came as a relief that the problem with Pier 22 was found just eight feet below its concrete footing. Very early, we were concerned uh, this could be happening 90, 80 feet below ground, which gets more difficult to actually confirm that's what happened. Now, the DOT says the bridge has not moved since it settled last week. They have equipment on there to monitor that. They say that the uh, bridge is supposed to... Um, stay up. They don't believe that it will collapse or anything. And as far as the time that the work might begin or wrap up, there's no timetable on that. And right now, DOT officials expect the investigation into this to wrap up by next week. Live in Green Bay, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. Officials also touched on some traffic issues today related to that bridge closure. Basically a reminder that they suggest highways 41 and 172 be used even though construction is ongoing and sometimes a traffic stopper. The DOT's traffic engineer said today they're monitoring traffic and still plan some overnight closures, but he said they could adjust if they had to, but usually overnight is not a serious problem. For the time being, at least one special lane <clears throat> on the heaviest of the heavily traveled segments of 41 will stay open. One of the things that we're doing is the, the 41 northbound auxiliary lane that exists today between Highway 172 and Lombardi Avenue um, is going to remain open. That was scheduled to, to be closed here soon. That now is going to remain open um, so we can continue to have traffic move through that section of highway uh, as best as we can. There haven't been any major traffic issues with the 41 project after the Leo Frigo closure.